activity. Talk to Doc Manning. Doc Manning, I believe, is in Reliant Medical. We have talked to him before. So let's see what it is he has for us. Yeah, I haven't zoned in like a week. My whole body feels like it's crumbling. Yeah, coming down off Aurora isn't easy. Took me months to shake it off. The doc, he isn't gonna, you know, rat me out to anyone, right? Are you kidding? No one cares if you're addicted to the stuff. Hell, that's what they want. Well, if it worked for you, I hope it works for me. I'm sick of feeling this way when I can't get a fix. I'll just uh, rest until the doc's ready to talk to me. I thought it'd be funny if she just uh, ragdolled and died like they typically do. And, what like, can Reliant Medical do for you? You are not the same guy that I talked to. Um, Hi? What happened? Oh my goodness, another poor soul. All right, tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else perhaps? This is not the same Doc Manning I talked to. <laughs> what the heck is this? Are Aurora overdoses a, cobla a common problem here? Unfortunately, yes. You see, the more Aurora that a user absorbs, the more resistance their body builds up to its active ingredients. That means the user needs larger and larger doses in order to feel its full effect. Eventually, the doses get so incredibly large, the user's nervous system simply can't handle the overload. I don't use Aurora. That's a very wise choice. Since you're clearly a first-time visitor to Reliant Neon, I'd love to offer you a free checkup, but I'm afraid I'm dangerously low on supplies. That's unusual for a medical company. Nah, it must have been a busy day. Every day is a busy day here, but that isn't why I'm low on supplies. You see, I'm a bit at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. Have you tried taking this to a higher authority? I've spoken to the people at Reliant Medical Corporate, I've talked to the Freestar Rangers, I've even gone to the Freestar Collective Council. Every answer is always the same. We're working on it. It's corruption at the highest levels. Ugh. So aggravating. Alright, there's gotta be a way to get past this blockade. There is, actually. But it requires... outside assistance. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Boli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but... It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. He can obviously get rid of my alien DNA, but I'm keeping it. Is it possible to break an uh, Aurora habit? Huh. Well, it's completely dependent upon how long the user's been addicted. People have been using for, say, two years or less. I've been able to put through a full detoxification program successfully, but there are others who have been addicted pretty much all their adult lives, and I have yet to try and cure someone who hasn't relapsed. How exactly does Aurora work? Aurora stimulates the neural circuits in the brain, specifically targeting the neurotransmitter serotonin in the prefrontal cortex. This causes significant sensory hallucinations, both auditory and visual. That's the enticement factor. As you can imagine, 
This state is highly addictive, and the user gets stuck in a vicious cycle. They need more Aurora to satisfy their cravings. Well, you know what? I can help you with your medical supply problem. That would be amazingly helpful. It's a relief to meet someone who gives a damn about anyone other than themselves for a change. Oh, and I'll pay you directly for the supplies, of course. It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Uh, how will we sneak the supplies past the spaceport authorities? Authority. There's nothing to worry about. As long as packages aren't coming off a commercial vessel, the authorities won't scan them. That's why this has to be done slowly and methodically. If I get too much all at once, they'll catch on to my scheme. Uh, how can you possibly afford to pay for your own supplies? I use the proceeds from my paying customers. And by cutting a few expenses here and there, I'm able to use a bit of my own money. It's not a bother, really. The cots here at the facility are actually quite comfortable. You know what? You don't have to pay me anything. As much as I'd like to believe that, let's wait and see how you feel after you make the delivery. Anyway, I have a contact over at the clinic in the Narian system. Abby Edding? She's one of the nurses there. She'll get you started. Thank you so much for doing this. You have no idea how helpful it'll be for the poor folk that live in Ebside. That starts the quest Relief Run. Speak with Abby Edding. If you need help, remember a life. I offered to go get medical supplies for Joseph Manning. I need to go pick them up from Abby Edding at the clinic. What's that other guy's name, Doc Manning? I want to check. I just don't remember which, how I got. To, oh, that wasn't even on this planet. Never mind. Never mind. That was on a. That was um. New Atlantis. Bye, Sophie. I was like, wait, can I jump up to there? I know I could jump down from there. I don't think my jetpack can jump me up to there. It's my mantis ship. Sprained my ankle. <laughs> Let's go, Vasco. I forgot to click the cockpit. Hello. Let's take off. Let's hope this ship can get there without me having Time to swap. To leave this place behind. Now. Right. Oh, I seem like I can go there without swapping ships. Grab 
Oh, the clinic is a space station. The clinic welcomes all patients, whether Freestar or UC. Okay, let's get ourselves closer. Come on. Any minute now. There it is. Nice clean dock, Captain. Just a courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times has he had to Captain Orion, late do you require time? my assistance? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs... How can I be else? of service, Captain? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duty. Captain Orion, it is pleasant to see you. It's not pleasant to see you! Thanks for delivering critical supplies would be nice to hear once in a while. Hey, man, thanks for delivering those critical supplies. Need some work done? Don't make my job any harder, okay? Okay, it's just like a normal. Okay, no, we're, we're here for a specific reason. Let's just get what we're here for. Think he's non existent. Need something? Dr. Cartwright in Aquila City said I was crazy when I told her I wanted to transfer here. Now I kind of understand why. We'll talk to you about all that next time. We just want to know Joseph Manning sent me to pick up some medical supplies. Hey, let's keep our voices down. The clinic doesn't exactly know I'm giving its supplies away. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard Bayou really has a vice grip on Neon right now. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it shouldn't draw any suspicion from the clinic. I'll have them loaded onto your ship. I do want to hit that Persuade, because I need to master my Persuade, but um, what'll happen if the clinic finds out about this? What the clinic doesn't know won't hurt them. That's why it's important to keep this as confidential as possible. I'm putting my job on the line to do this, but I know that the people of Neon need help. I'm willing to take the risk and skim a few supplies from the clinic, but if the clinic finds out, then I'm out of a job and Neon is out of supplies. Again. So, let's not be too conspicuous. Uh, why are you doing this for Joseph Manning? He's a good friend of mine. We both worked at the same clinic in Aquila City. The work was hard, and I was really young and nervous. But he always looked after me during those days and helped me as much as he could. So, to answer your question, I'm doing this because I know for a fact he'd do the same for me. No questions asked. Well, let's try to persuade. A few more supplies couldn't hurt. Sorry, 
I can't do that. This is the most I can give you without drawing suspicion. Hand it over now. I'm sure we can work something out. I hear you. Um, that's what I like to hear. Maybe we can work something out. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Oh, I really shouldn't do this. If the clinic finds out... All right, you win. You're very persuasive. I can throw in a few extra supplies, but I'm not going to make this a regular thing, okay? They'll be loaded onto your ship. Turn to Joseph. Before we do that, let's uh, rob you guys. It's odd. I've reached a new location, and people aren't just running over to give me quests. But we're going to come back here later. Obviously. Just go ahead and sell this arc welder, this equinox, this maelstrom. Okay. Vasco's still blocking the way, so we aren't going to worry about that part. I hope the state space station st it should stay here. I, complete. I didn't grab any quests from this location, meaning it'll probably I'll forget about it. I'll forget it exists. There will also probably be another side quest that will send me back here, so it's okay. Must have been a good Welcome jump. Three -star We're space. still in one piece. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Land. Want to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills? Ryujin is hiring the fat cow and brains of the day. Anybody here? You have something better to do? I think I'm gonna go into Hotel Voli soon. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. You standing up and turning around. You aren't looking well at all. Perhaps you'd better sit down. How do you know Abby into editing? And why do I not look? Oh, I sprained my ankle. I forgot. <laughs> we both apprenticed under Mary Cartwright at the medical facility in Aquila City. Spent a heck of a lot of hours working together. Abby and I got along exceptionally well. Don't get me wrong, we're just friends, of course. She's young enough to be my daughter. I almost felt bad leaving her behind when I was hired to work for Reliant and Neon, but I knew she'd do well wherever she ended up. Reached out to her a few months ago when I ran into trouble here, and she's been helping me ever since. Well, I got the medical supplies for you. I was even able to convince Abby to throw in some extras. Fantastic. That'll really help out around here. Thanks for everything. These supplies will be put to good use. Here, take this. I threw in a bit extra for you, since you really came through for me. That's a lot of money. Just 
people. Dirk. 